This is Vizio 2003-2007 Electrical Systems Drawing, Part 8, Adding a Riser Diagram. Uh, That's where we left off. Uh, we finished the drawing in terms of uh, adding data for various devices. And um, now one other type of drawing that's uh, useful for uh, any type of electrical uh, systems is a riser diagram. Basically, uh, that's a view looking from the side, and it shows uh, how all the circuits are fed. It's basically a kind of a wiring diagram of sorts. It's not it's a schematic as opposed to an actual wire routing. So, uh, in order to do this, we're going to uh, add a uh, another sheet. So, we're going to insert page and uh, land the page right at this point, uh, riser diagram. Gives us our next sheet. Now, in order to uh, get sort of a head start on doing this, we're going to take uh, the different devices uh, right out of this drawing. So we will start out uh, by taking on the second floor, we'll start at the top of the drawing, and we're going to uh, take uh, all of our initiating devices. So we'll go to uh, select uh, by type, and we'll be selecting the layer of uh, fire alarm initiating devices. And you can see that this has uh, selected a group of devices here. Then we will uh, hit a control C in order to copy these and go over to our riser diagram, hit a control V to paste them. You can see this is taking all the initiating devices, heat detectors, smoke detectors, uh, as well as pulse stations. And uh, you know, typically in a riser diagram, we would show all these devices uh, in a row lined up. So we're going to take them as they are now and go to the shape, align shapes, and we're going to do a center alignment on all of these devices. So we hit that, and OK, and that moves them all together into one line. And we're going to take this whole thing and move it up in the drawing since this will be up on the second floor. Then we are going to uh, go and do the same thing for uh, the signaling devices. So here we'll uh, select uh, by type, select the layer fire alarm signaling devices, uh, hit a control C over the riser diagram, control V, shape, uh, align the shapes, and then take this and move it up in the grind as well. Now just to give uh, some sense as to uh, where these things are in the building, let me just give a uh, a rough outline floor for the building. Looks something like this. We're going to give that no fill so we can see through it. And then, since this is just a schematic, I'm going to make that a broken line. And that will be the second floor of the building represented here. And then we're going to take that second floor and just copy it down for the first floor. Now then, um, we'll go back and do the same thing for floor one. And basically, that gets all our devices over here. Now we're going to draw some lines to connect those together. Uh, we're going to want to zoom in here a little bit and just make sure that these things are lined up as we see them right now. And start with the uh, top floor. 
and you can see these look like they're pretty well lined up. A few cases we've got some uh, issues with the identification. Uh, so we might want to go to the uh, text block tool. Those text blocks a little bit. And basically, that's about that. Now, one other small issue is we're going to draw a line all the way across between these. And we'd like to uh, see that they line up. We've got some connection points on these devices. And so we can see that the connection points on this strobe are right along that line right there. We want to have our other devices lined up with that pretty much. And so I'm going to take this uh, orange strobe and move it down just a little bit so that it's aligned. Move it over a little bit so we can get a line in there. And it should about cover that part of it. Now we'll go and start drawing some lines. And here we'll take our connector tool and start connecting. Now all these connectors will uh, automatically be on a separate layer called connectors. That happens automatically. See there's a little arrow that shows up right there. Click on the arrow, it takes you right to the next device. So then, um, I'm going to zoom out a bit here. And I'm going to put a uh, fire alarm control panel down at the bottom here. And then I'm going to put uh, some connection points uh, on the, this. And uh, so I'm going to select it and go to the uh, connection point tool. And just set some connection points on here. Then we'll go back to the uh, connector tool and connect some of these circuits in. Now, we had um, uh, two signaling circuits and one uh, initiating circuit that we ended up with. So, uh, those are our two signaling circuits. And we'll show. Uh, That will be where we, where we start the um, initiating circuit. I want to take connect the ends of these like this. So later on, we'll connect all those devices together. Basically, we're showing all of those initiating devices being on, on one circuit. And then I'm going to. Uh, This is going to be uh, to the second floor, and this will be S1, and this will be M1. So that labels our circuits. Uh, we're going to uh, select 
that uh, all the connectors select by type layers and connectors and we're going to make that line a little bit heavier and basically uh, that pretty much does the job in terms of the riser diagram um, we'll connect all those devices together to finish the drawing up but uh, this is um, it's basically that part of it so we'll go on to the next video and show how to do reports and do the schedules of devices uh, and that will finish up uh, the video project.